Hey everyone, this is Argon Matrix Holt coming you to episode 50, freaking 50 of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. And in the last episode, we beat the Forest Temple and heard about the Deku Tree Sprout story, which was awesome and epic, according to me. Anyways, um, since we just restarted the Temple of Time when I boot up the game, I might as well show this. Come in here, and Sheik's gonna talk to us. You destroyed the wicked creatures that haunted the temple and awakened the sage. But there are still other sages who need your help. No, I thought that was the only one. Damn. In order to awaken all the other sages, you must become even more powerful. You must travel over mountains, underwater, and even through time. Ooh, awesome. What are you going to do now? Give me a flux capacitor? If you want to return to your original time, please return Please return the Master Sword to the pedestal of time. By doing this, you will travel back in time seven years. Dude, that's awesome. That's so wicked awesome. The time will come when you will have to return here quickly. I will teach this to you for when that time comes. This song will return... The song to return you to the Temple of Time. The Prelude of Light. This is a nice little song. Maybe one of my favorites. Not my favorite, but one of them. It's just so happy, I like it. Like, seriously. Yeah, that's right. Papa, where's the sparkles coming from? What the hell is that? Where, what? Huh? What is that? And what's it doing? That was weird, whatever. You have learned the prelude of light. Which is basically just a warp song to the Temple of Time, kind of like the Minuet of Forest. As long as you hold the Ocarina of Time and the Master Sword, you hold time itself in your hands. Argon, we shall meet again. Cool. What are you going to do now? Whoa. That was an epic Deku nut if I ever saw one. Yeah, so basically now you can come up here and you can drop the Master Sword into the pedestal of time here. If you want to go back to being a kid, which we will have to do eventually... And I do, and I will want to that eventually. But for now, I'm just gonna stay as an adult because we have quite a few things to do before we move on with the game to the next temple. Uh, namely, we have to complete that quest that I started and then kind of stopped to do the temple in the middle. You know, the one involving Kohio and all that stuff. Anyways, how far are we in that quest? Anyways, what am I? I oh, I have the saw blade. Okay, so we're just, oh, the poacher saw. Fine, whatever. What are you poaching? Hmm? 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 You're gonna explain that to me? That was given to me by the freaky little Kokiri girl in The Lost Woods, right? I believe so. Anyways, to move on with this quest, you are going to need Epona unlocked in Hyrule Field. And I don't know if I ever explained this before, but you can use Epona's song to call Epona anywhere in Hyrule Field. Just like that. Where's. Oh, why are you coming from over there? I parked you like over there somewhere. What the hell's wrong with you? Where were you going? What are you what are you doing, Epona? Anyways, so you're gonna wanna take this saw blade, or poacher saw, and go over to Garuda Valley, actually. Yep. And the reason you need Epona is because that bridge that was in Garuda Valley before, as a kid, um it's out now. It got broken somehow, I don't know. But whatever. Anyways it so it got broken, and you need Epona to cross the gap, because the person that you need to give the poster saw back to is on the other side of that gap. How you're supposed to know that, I have no clue. This is probably the mo one of the most random and retarded side quests ever. Like, seriously, ever. Anyways, so we come out here with Epona, cross this, and watch this epic shot. Watch the epic shot. Damn you, Epona. You had to ruin the epicness, just like I did in that last battle against Phantom Gammon. Okay, turn around, turn around slowly, and right off into the sunset. Whee! Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. Anyways, now you just want to stop right here, get off, and we're going to go talk to this guy. Well, actually, we're going to show him the poacher saw. What's with your mouth, dude? What are you doing? <coughs> hey, that saw, it's mine. But I thought I left that saw with my old lady. Oh well. That that lady is your mother or something? 
My big Goron tool broke, so I was going to Goron City to get it repaired. You coming here in great timing. Will you give me my saw? Sure. I have no use for it. Good kid. Thanks. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I can't give you something good in return, but take this anyway. And he gives you a broken Goron sword. Visit Big Oron to get it repaired. Who the hell is Big Oron? I don't think we've ever met him before. Oh well. What do you want, Navi? That cloud over Death Mountain? Yeah, that's basically... She's hinting you to go to Death Mountain, because that's where the next temple is going to be. Anyways, we'll just cross back over here. And now, I'm not going to cut any of this out, just because this quest is awesome. I don't want to cut any of it out. But we're going to go back to Kakariko Village, so we can go find this big Oron guy and uh, give him the sword, I guess. I don't even know. I don't even know what the hell's going on anymore. This started with, like, a pocket kugo, and now we're somewhere... Now we're going to get a sword fixed by Big Goron? How big can a Goron really get, anyways? Jeez. That's my timer at 6 minutes and 10 seconds. Actually, it was 6 minutes, 9 seconds, and 8 milliseconds, but whatever. Fast Repona! Damn. This is boring, I know. Oh well, at least it's better than walking all the way. Seriously. And looks like we're getting here for daybreak. That's cool. Anyways, so we're just gonna go over here now. La 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 la. Kakariko Village. Kakariko. I don't know, Kakariko sounds cool to me. I, I kind of like it. I might start calling it that from now on. It's just awesome. It's awesome like a cow. <laughs> yeah. That's right. I went there. What am I doing? Take the stairs, idiot. Up to Death Mountain Trail. And, yep. Yes, I hear the chicken. I know it's morning. Blah, 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 blah. Ah, go away. Oh my god! That rock almost hit me. Where's it coming from? I don't know. Oh, there's another one. Oh my god. Holy shit. Holy shit. What the hell? Where are they, com Where are they all coming from? I'm so confused. <laughs> anyway, it's whatever. So we're going to climb up to the top of Death Mountain. Because even though you would have no way of knowing that whatsoever, I might point out again, that is where Big Oron is going to be. And this cow is still in that hole, even after seven years, without, like, any food or anything. Well, I don't know, there's probably grass or something down there. Whatever. Oh my god, run away. Surprisingly, for some reason, as an adult, the rocks don't follow you anymore. Like, they don't home in on you like they did as a kid. So I guess they take it easier on you when you get older, if that makes any sense. Anyways, we're gonna kill the sculptures here. Uh, there's... Oh my god! What the hell are you... What are you doing? You retard. Where did you come from? You, like, dive-bombed me or something. Come on, kill it. There we go. And it looks like there's one there, too. Awesome. What's with the dramatic music again? I hate this music. Oh my god. Uh, eight minutes, roughly nine minutes. Okay. Oh god. La la la. Oh, there's like a gossip stone there. Cool. I just hit my controller on the side of my desk. What am I doing? Anyways, holy shit, that's a big Goron. Oh my god, dude. Do you want this? That broken knife is surely my work. I really want to repair it, but... But because of yesterday's eruption, my eyes are irritated. There are fine eye drops in Zora's domain. You will find them if you go to see King Zora. Please go get the eye drops. Sure, why not? Ah, uh, you check... Yeah, I got the prescription. Wow. Jeez. Anyways. Oh my god! Oh shit! Yeah. <laughs> I 
So I guess we're off to Zora's domain now. Too bad we don't have a faster way of getting there than walking. Uh, I don't know. I could I could like warp to the Temple of Time and just go from there, but I don't know if that'll be any faster than doing this. Oh, I fell in the hole. I didn't even see it there, dude. I don't want to talk to the cow. Me. Okay, let's just keep going. Uh, let me see here. Hmm. Just maybe. Oh my god, I need the timer on. Okay, we're just about- Oh my god! It's a great fairy! Or like, a big fairy or something. I don't know. Anyways, so we did all that in this episode. I have to end it right now, because I'm just about out of time. So next episode, we'll continue with this. This is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you, and good night.